Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. Alright, obviously we've been dealing with a couple of real tough missions here. We've still got to beat Vicious Steel once. We've still got to beat Naga City once. Um, these are tough missions. I, I'm not going to lie, I'm having trouble here. I would like to go ahead and beat one and not just show you guys the seri most serious losing streak of all time, but uh, can't make any promises. I'm going to try my best. I am going to try my best. Uh, honestly, think I have a better chance here than I do elsewhere. Uh, even though I think I just did this run a second ago, I, I want—I really want to unlock the vampire even more so than the naga, or not the naga—the the, the uh, what's it called? The thing in me, Bobby. All right, no paladin, no, no, no. So who do we choose here? Sorcerer seems like a good option. I believe he takes off two layers of death protection every time he hits someone, so that's pretty good. Um, so he doesn't have to deal so much with Mr. Man until like, he only has like 50, 25 death protection instead of 50. That might be a good thing. Um, obviously being able to use fireballs a, a lot also helps. Uh, mana potion versus extra mana, I think um, extra mana will win. Typically with me, I like the extra mana over the more mana potions. We're going to go with a compression seal and a shop scroll, just to add that extra on there. We're going to go with, hmm, interesting options here. Orb of Zot is actually probably a real good idea for dealing with Vampire Man. Um, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Orb of Zot. It starts us off with three fireballs, which is pretty nice, and if we have to use it on Vampire Man, we will. So here's our orb. It costs a lot of money. 100 actually, since I have to remake it, especially if uh, if I'm going to be using it again later, or if I have to use it to its fullest. So we're going to be taking this guy, and uh, instead of these, actually I'm going to get rid of the health potion, take the Schadenfreude potion, and the Reflex potion. That should work out. Uh, that way we've got our mana, we've got our mana, we've got Reflex for a couple extra hits, and we've got the ability to do massive damage in one hit, which is great. Especially if we end up using Zot properly. That's a real powerful combination. I would like to start with the fireballs, but two extra mana is also huge. Um, eh, I'll start with three fireballs. That'll probably help the whole thing just work out better. So Black, black Market is definitely a plus as well. Um, having more gods is never a bad thing. And a Perseverance Badge, just to boost things that tiniest bit more, might be a good idea. Alright, we're going to try this. Expensive, it's like buying a win if I win, but still, it's, uh, let's hope it works out. 226, actually it cost me 276 to do that, but it might give me the Vampire. And I, I would like the Vampire. I would really, really like the Vampire. Alright, we start right next to Piss Orf, we've got Burned Ass already. And we can use a shop scroll, so everything is going well. Uh, what's in that? Keg of Health. May be useful at some point, not my number one choice sort of a buy. Pistol Orf I'm just going to leave there, uh, at least for now. The reasoning behind that is I don't 100% need it yet. Um, this guy's right here, you know, I might, I, I don't want to get rid of it. That's the compression seal, that's not the shop scroll, I've already used the shop scroll, okay. We're going to continue our exploration, so if there are people in our way, like there were last time from the beginning, uh, it might be very useful to have this Orf, or if Binlor shows up. This seems like an obvious purchase at this level. Uh, health potions and an ice. I can pick that up in a minute if I need it. Another shop. Badge of Honor. Seems like a good buy later, perhaps. This guy, he does massive damage, and I have no chance against him whatsoever. So no thank you. Torog is here. That's uh, at once intriguing and scary. I'm a sorcerer. I don't really want to be with Torog. On the other hand, Torog makes this place easier. I don't know. Maybe Torog. Maybe. Pendant of Mana, also very tempting. Alright, here's a level 2 that I can most likely deal with pretty easily. Three fireballs can probably kill this guy straight out. I believe, anyway. Leaves him with... Yep. There's the win. Perfect. Okay, continuing our explorations. This is a much better start than last time, and I'm going to leave Torog there, at least for now. If I start converting glyphs where I really need that resistance, I will come to you, Torog. Do not worry. So what was in this shop again? 
Uh, Pendant of Mana. Yeah. 20 Mana is not that much better than 18 at this point. 24 would be fantastic. If Mysterious shows up, that 20 Mana is also going to be really good. But we'll see. We will see. Okay, another level 2 guy. I can actually just hit this one. And then fireball him away. And, oh yeah, I heal when I, uh... When I cast my fireballs as a sorcerer. I always forget that. That's a good thing. Very powerful. Alright, level 2 me. Uh, this guy has 40 health and I can do 3 fireballs. That's only... 32. 24. Dang, I'm bad at math. So, no. Not really, dude. You're not my... You're not my dude, dude. It's unfortunate. I can do 32 plus 13. Uh, 24 plus 13 is... Uh, not your total health, basically. Yeah, you, you'll have more health. So, uh, probably don't want to try and kill you just yet. One more fireball would be enough, though. Uh, there's miscellaneous liquors. Liquors. Liqueur. Uh, spoon. Alright. And an easy kill. This guy should be quite simple. If I fireball... Oh, I can hit him first. Don't be a dummy dummy. Because my fireballs, uh, they heal me. I, I need to not forget that. It's very important. And this should actually kill him. Yes. Because I hit him twice. That's why. That's the Sorcerer Super. Death Protection Remover. Alright, continuing our exploration. This looks like Pack Maker is here. That might be an interesting concept. Um, I'm actually going to try this. Now that I have 19 mana. I'm going to try this level 4 before I kill that level 3. It's possible. I'm going to get my 3 fireballs off. Let's see exactly how short I am on damage. Because I do more than 13. Oh, I can kill him straight up. I should have killed the 2 level 4s. Foolish me. Oh well, dead dude. It's fine. Alright, level 3 me does not care about killing that level, uh, th that other level 3 at all. Let's go after a level 3 or a level 6 even. Uh, I can't hit that guy, so it's not really worth it. I can hit this one though. So let's, uh, let's fireball him down. This may work out. It may not, but it may. It looks like it did, and it levels me up, so fine. Very nice. I'm already level 4. This is going well. I will not argue with how well this is going. I would prefer to go after someone else. Ugh, not even this guy, really, because he does so much damage. 62. I need to find a health boost before I fight that guy. Alright, we'll continue our explorations. We're kind of looking around for a nice killable. This guy's killable. Uh, he's a curse bearer, but that doesn't really matter to me at this point. I can actually just hit him and then fireball him down pretty easily. I might be able to get that second hit in, yep, and I'll be cursed a few times, but right now that doesn't really make a difference. It may at some point, I won't lie, but right now it's not a deal. So, level 4 me, can't really go after Mr. Level 6 man yet, too short on health, even with the troll heart, which is kind of sad. Uh, we're going to continue moving along then. More mana, uh, pretty close to where... Yeah, two more mana boosters and that uh, that 24 becomes a possibility. Alright, this uh, this guy's going to be a jerk. That's fine. Uh, get in there is an interesting value proposition. May or may not happen still. Benlor is here. He's a real possibility, especially with Pissorf up there, but... Uh, no, probably won't be switching to him. Maybe I can get this run Faithless. Who knows? Alright, get in there is here. I will remember it, though I will not be picking it up yet. I need to find a good target. Feel sick is something I probably won't use so much. Uh, no, you don't level me up, buddy. This guy doesn't level me up either, so, you know, unless they level you up, it's not worth it to kill these guys that mana burn you. Which makes it real hard to find things to kill, to be honest. Uh, hmm, let me think. No, there's no real way to do this without getting... Yeah. Could I just fireball you to death? Not quite. If I could, though, you'd be a definite target, so don't feel bad, dude. Alright. Actually, if I did this, and just uh, did this conversion, and the Pistol conversion, because I seem to be getting around okay, 
That puts me up to 22. And then I can grab up this. Buy. Pin into mana. Puts me up to 24. Do my tiny bit of exploration over here. And here. And here. And now I can get four fireballs off. Which means I can probably kill some of these guys straight up with just fireballs. Uh, not you, though. How about you? Not quite, but I can get you with just fireballs. Which is uh, worth it. Let's do that. Save in our exploration as we can. This is actually going to cost me a bit of exploration to get my mana back, but still. It's quite a way to win. And it gives me a reason to explore up a bit. And there's more mana just by default as well. Um, 25 is pretty good. Let's see, I only need to get up to 24 probably, or even less than that. Uh, significantly less than that. I could probably kill you now. With fireballs and a hit. Yeah, I, I think I very much can, so I will. Let's do this. One. And two. And three. And this hit levels me up, which is perfect. Saves me a lot of uh, a lot of energy, a lot of hassle. Still can't hit that guy, but I can hit this one now, which is good. I can start fireballing him, which should finish this job pretty easily, pretty evenly as well, which is great. And uh, I'm at level 5. Honestly, I'm pretty close to where I could start taking on Mr. Indomitable if I can find him. Uh, yeah, Pissorf would be nice, actually. I shouldn't have gotten rid of it, but I did. No use complaining now. There are plenty of places to explore me. Uh, head over here. Yep, yeah, that's the edge of the map. Needs to be changed so you can see the edge of the map easier, but I'm not going to whine. Let's uh, go on down. And I'm kind of just searching for my boss at this point. Uh, I can't just fireball this guy to death, and I can't hit him. Uh, I suppose I could probably just fireball this guy to death since I'm wasting exploration anyway. So let's do that. Get kind of close to leveling. And win. Which is a nice little boost in experience. Like I said, since I'm uh, I'm using up my exploration anyway. Okay. It looks like he's going to be up here, around here or maybe down here. So I will kill this one. Just to kind of move. And 73 is pretty close to being able to hit Mr. 78, but not quite there. This wind doesn't cost me anything, so I'll take it. Looks like he's not up here. I can't really hit that guy. I'll kill this one, just to continue my explorations. I really don't like it when I have trouble finding the bosses. Because um, he could be anywhere. I guess, oh, there he is. He is right here, behind. Seriously, he's behind this one. I got rid of Pissorf already. Oh, that's going to be a real pain. I have to kill a level 8 super annoying enemy to win this. I mean, there's no other way to describe this guy but super annoying. He has weakening blow, he has retaliate fireball, he has resists, out the wazoo. He takes a million fireballs to kill, even if I want to do that. There is nothing good about killing that guy. Alright, so I'm just going to level up as I can, I suppose. How many fireballs does it take to kill? He's still too many. I'm going to check on that like a million times. Safe to hit you though. I get my curse on. But it might be a worthwhile kill. It might be a possibility. Uh, let's see. Throw as many fireballs out there as I can. That enables me to boost up my health to the point where I might be able to hit you again sooner than you can hit me, my friend. Alright, and some exploration over here. Very nice. Means I can hit you and fireball you again. Which is good. It's what I wanted. You're down to 16. Um, I don't want to level up by accident. So I should avoid killing anything if possible. Still three level higher kill. It might be worth a health potion, but I would like to avoid that if I can. Uh, 68 of and right here will put me at full I can hit him again and fireball him twice I don't think it's working out though 
Is there not a staircase down anywhere? That's kind of interesting. Let's kill this guy and explore up here. Didn't really gain me much. I'm on the verge of leveling, which is interesting. This guy does, like, massive damage, right? 120. Huh. So he's nowhere near where I should be killing him. It's possible there's a way around this dude, but I very much doubt it if I can kill this guy. Unfortunately, this guy's got Retaliate Fireball, so I'm not high enough level to do that yet. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go after this level 8 like I was doing before. Uh, yeah, one hit. As many Fireballs as I can get off at this point without exploring anymore. And then I'll just kill this guy for the nice win. Not the greatest win, but it's a nice win. And I'll finish this guy off. And I, I should probably use a hit to do it. And a fireball as well. That'll kind of balance out the exploration aspects. Very nice. Can I kill this guy in one hit yet? Uh, no. Two hits, yeah. This is such a pain. Such a pain. Uh, Pissorf would have fixed this, of course. So it is partially my fault. Still. Let's take that curse. And start killing things to get rid of curses. And win. Uh, I'm kind of looking for my stairs down. But it's, it's looking like it's either behind him or maybe behind this guy who's going to give me mana burn unless I kill him like this. With a fireball first. All my special rooms are, like, in terrible places, really. Uh, it looks like there could be a secret here. I think there's also one maybe there. But the, the secret's right there. There's the secret sub-dungeon that I can't really get to. No staircase down. And my other boss is up here. Behind Mr. I Weaken You all to crap. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go after Mr. Indomitable after I go after this guy. Which is terrible, 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 terrible. <laughs> there's no other way to describe that. Uh, he does 140 damage and I can't quite fireball him down, so there's no going after him. He does 115 and I can't fireball him down. There's a lot of high damage enemies. Let's kill this guy. And uh, let's kill this guy as well my last fireballs while I'm still level six and down and last one for the win yay that puts me at level seven at least where I can approach looking at hurting this guy maybe one day I have to be level eight before I even attack this guy since I have no resistances and I'm cursed as well which doesn't help matters I'll kill this guy and is there anything in these shops that can kind of help out with this? Alchemist Scroll is an interesting valuable value proposition, um, but it can only give me eight health. That's going to give me five if I take it. Battle Mage Ring, interesting value. Uh, Dwarven Gauntlets, no. Uh, Badge of Honor, maybe. No money for it, really. Keg of Health, no money for it, really. I need to kill... Not you, you do too much damage. Not you, you do too much damage. Man, I've had uh, I've had this troll heart the whole time as well. It's given me like plus 16 health, plus 14 health. But it's not enough. It is not enough. Um, I've got a level, basically. I think one more level is enough where I can approach attacking this guy. Uh, no, it'll be 18. And that's not enough either. I have to be level 9 to attack that guy. Jeez. I could take some magic resistance. Oh, this will work. Okay, if I worship here, worship, I get the piss orf. I didn't even think about that. Oh, and uh, he rather likes that me. I'm level 7. That's good. I should use this compression seal on Burndrass, because I will in fact be getting rid of Trollheart when I become level 10. Should I do so? Pick up the piss orf. And now, let's see how we're going to do this. Um, could honestly check this place out if I wanted to waste the mana on it. I don't really. Let's piss orf this guy this way. So I can get around here. There's an earth mother. 
Uh, I can piss off this guy this way. And there it was. All right. So now I can at least see the guy who was once like me. Until he took an arrow to the knee. I know, I'm funny. He's corrosive, which is a pain. Uh, I need to save my money, now that I think about it, to get rid to get that burn salve. I always, always forget to prep it. It costs 10. I'm 100% definitely going to need it, so I'm just going to buy it now. Okay. I need to get close to leveling. That is without a doubt true. So let's kill things that don't cost me anything. Like, not him. Um... Close to leveling without going over, and strong enough to still fight him. I'm, not, I'm actually nowhere near close to leveling, which is kind of bad, because I can't even hit this guy, can I? No, he does 115 damage. Jeez. Alright, let's go to 108. See, I'm way away. This is not the best situation. All my high level guys are real pains. Uh, that would mono burn me, so no thank you. Curses don't really matter. Okay. Hmm. Well, I know what I want to do here. It's going to cost a huge amount of mana if I do it. I want to push someone over here. Uh, it's not the best of plans, though, is it? No, it's not. Alright, and waste that exploration because I'm a dum-dum. Kill this guy because I'm kind of a dum-dum as well. There we go. Bit of a downstairs. Let's see what's down here. Uh, an interesting place that I don't know about. It looks like there's a barbing bush and a sign. I'm wasting this exploration. Exploding signposts. Awesome. That was not... Oh, a compression seal. And... Shaden Freud Potion. That's actually amazing. Pick up the Compression Seal. Use it on the Pendant of Mana. So I won't be getting rid of that. I can also pick up this Shaden Freud Potion, which is pretty excellent. Now I'll use this Exploration, hopefully, to get back to at least close to full health. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. This was pretty nice, actually. Um, that's four extra fireballs. Maybe I can just approach this guy and kill him directly. With Shadenfroids. It's possible. Let's try it. Alright, hit. Let's get our fireballs going. They heal us anyway. We take corrosion from the hit, but uh, whatever. I've also got to get in there. Might be able to use that for something. I don't know yet. Okay, I can take a hit again, so I should use a Schadenfreude. And I've got two of them. And, uh, yeah, I should just take the hit. Oh, did not mean to select him. Please deselect. Okay. And now we can get rid of his first death protection, which will lower his damage. Whoa, it did not do anything there. All right, move. Things are working again. Let's hit him. There we go. Now he's down to 49. And I can start wheedling him down with fireballs. Which heal me, by the way. Pretty excellent move. On my part, I say. And a final one. Now, I'm going to go down here to this get in there. And I'm actually going to convert it for more mana. Because I'm going to start using mana potions soon. I really want them to be as effective as possible. Um... Troll Heart also should probably just go away for more mana. That one extra mana is more valuable. Yep, it puts me at 12, so it's two fireballs for the price of one, basically. I can't hit him again. Oh, I can. I can already hit him again, so I'm going to use a Shadenfroid first. So I will get that hit off, which gets rid of, I think, two of his... Uh... Yeah, that should get rid of two of his things. And we'll get rid of more this way. And I'm only gathering uh, the conversion on the hits that cost. So that's good. The conversion, the corrosion. Very nice. And I can hit him again. Actually, I can hit him many, many times now, which is excellent. So we're going to be saving those mono potions for last resort. Each of these should take off two layers of death protection. Um, 
And I only get one stack of corrosion for each one, which is excellent. And he's into the... Uh, there we go. And now he's into the 20s. Very good. Maybe health potions are better than mana potions then. Hmm. I don't want to use the burn salve yet, that's for sure. Mana potions are what I'm going to use. So let's pick them up. Because they end up kind of getting us both anyway. Come back here and start fireballing. Yep, a couple fireballs just like that. Should get us a couple more hits as well. Yes, they do. And of course, a couple levels of corrosion. But still, he's down to three regular damage, which is fantastic. I'm going to use this to get two more fireballs off. Yes, please, up to 25. And I can get one more hit off. Yeah, I've got 12 levels of corrosion now, which is not the best. But I only have to hit him like nine more times. I would like some fireballs against this guy. But uh, what will be will be, and that probably won't be. So, well, I can level up after I kill you, right? Yeah, you take me all the way to 28. Leveling up should be easier at that point. Um, let's use a health potion to kind of uh, speed this along. Bring it up to 54. That's probably a good idea. And, you know, it gives me several hits. His damage doesn't go down anymore. But, uh, that's okay. In fact, he does a little bit more damage every time now. Another health potion. I'm not liking the uh, overall trend of how much I'm using, but what will be will be. I think I can still kill Vampire Man in the end. So two more hits will be four more death protections. He'll be down to seven, I think. And I'll use Mana Potion now. Pick it up. And use it. Two fireballs will do a lot to speed this along. Brings him down to six. And five. And one more hit. Brings him down to four. Or three, actually. I just need two more. One more hit. and No, two more hits, I think. So the last health potion will do it here. Okay. And that will kill him pretty handily, I think. And... Please be dead. My very annoying enemy friend. Very nice. All right. Oh, and more corrosion as well. And a burn salve. And we're good. Okay. Level 7 me still can't actually hit the vampire, though. That's a serious, serious issue. I need to level up. Uh, can I hit you? You mana burn me, which take me to 32. How about you? It's safe, but I'm cursed. Oh, I'll, I'll hit you and win and take my curse. And then I'll do a little bit up here. And I think I can take you on, which will level me up with a mono burn. That's fine. I'm level 8. 121 health means I can, in fact, go after this guy. It only takes a million hits, right? Well, it won't actually take that many hits because I'm going to use this which should take him down pretty significantly after I use this. Uh-huh. And now I can't hit him at all. I am a dum 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 dum. I need plus five health. That'll give me plus five health. Uh, anything else give plus health? Uh, Alchemist scroll would. Um, drinking any potion will grant plus eight max health. I will buy that because I don't want the minus to attack. And now that I have it, I will drink the reflex potion. And that should do massive damage to this guy if I can actually hit. Uh, let's go up here first. Blood to power. A good thing to convert right away, which should raise my mana even higher. And now I'll hit this guy. And he'll blink away, but that's fine. Uh, alright. Now I only have to hit him a million more times. Let's convert this to win. One million shouldn't be that hard to get to. He lies. 
How many fireball we got? Not enough for this. All right, we're gonna try though. I hate how much health this guy has. I really, really do. I'm not gonna get a level up here. That's for freaking sure. Um, all right, we'll pick up this mana potion and use it. It'll give me a couple more fireballs. And I'm very close to winning, but it's not there. If I can level, I can probably do this. Can I level? I've got 40 experience to go. I don't think I can. You know, I'm weakened anyway. You know, I can hit these guys, but they don't die fast enough. You still weaken me, don't you? Yeah. Am I going to be this short again? I think so. I don't see... I even used the Orb of Zot. I can buy this for a hit. Um... Gets me one hit, which is pretty valuable, but it's not enough. Bin Lore might get me another hit if I worship him. Uh, destroy, 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 stone soup. Uh, but this guy's got magic attack, yeah? Yeah. Torog won't give me a hit. Earth Mother. Earth Mother would do it. So, I have to please the Earth Mother somehow. How can I do this? I need Mana. Mana would make Earth Mother happy. Because... So I need a little bit of exploration. Um, hmm. Alright, let's do it this way. That gives me a little gold. And I can piss off with that. I need to get above 50, right? So piss off you, and if I piss off him again, I can actually get some exploration that way. I should have pissed off one of these guys. Uh, why does he have like so much extra health? Oh, their max health is all lowered dramatically, of course. Okay, you're burning at least. That's interesting. Uh, but you're going to heal if I go down here and get this exploration. But I need the happiness from Earth Mother. So, what gets me the most exploration is this one. I can do this. That gives me three. I need one more mana to get, any explore, to get anything good here. I think if I kill this one, it'll weaken me but it'll get me what I need to switch over to Earth Mother so no choice alright it's still not enough is it because I need more um crap okay I'm gonna no no don't waste it just like that very good I still need exploration I need more mana I'm one short right now oh there we are Okay, we've got what we came here for. I can worship Earth Mother. Convert. Then I can use Plantation. Which blows a plant on all the blood stains. And I have 100 piety. Okay. <sighs> okay, Earth Mother. You're doing this with me. We're going to win this, right? Together. You're going to work with me here? What all can we do? we can clearance which gives me 10 mana which gives me a fireball I can also hit this guy once now I'm not sure exactly where that came from but I can hit him he's gonna teleport away ooh not to a good spot for me but that's fine we can just use clearance again worship clearance leave Good, it went away. Okay, uh, now I can do my fireballing. I can get several fireballs off as well. And I'm going to get as much of this burning on him as I can. Alright, good. Now, I need two more hits off on him. 
Uh, what, we, what can we do here, Earth Mother? Me and you working together. We can't use plantation again. That's fine. We can use anything that spawns plants. So this works, and it gets me some damage reduction and extra health, which doesn't hurt anything. Spawns a couple plants every time I do it. Uh, this will spawn some plants as well. Uh, I can repeat this, which is good. And now I can use clearance, which gives me 12 mana for two more fireballs. So I can leave. Ugh. Okay, fireball. Just like that, my friend. You are fireballed, and you only have 46 health. Oh my, if I go back here, and I use entanglement, which slows all the non-plant enemies, I think I can kill you. Yes, I can. Do a dance. I just won. I thought that was so lost. Wow. <sighs> okay. Vampire fangs, and look at all that. We didn't get anything new except for the win itself. 200 bonus gold, which is good. It almost pays... Well, the, the, yeah, it, it paid for itself, this dungeon. We got more than we uh, than we, ca we went in there with. But most importantly, we finally finished that quest. That one was gnawing at me. I really wanted to unlock vampires, because I like vampires. Vampires are fun. I've got 9% of badges here. That only took 30 minutes. Sometimes I do, like, hour runs on these places. What? It just scrolled by again. No. I wanted to see the thing. Oh, well. Trophy sold. Awesome. Um, collect boss trophies. So let's see our vampire. It should say something. Adventure. It's not an adventure. What am I looking at? I should be going to as, I suppose. And vampires. Monster class. Eternal thirst. Starts with one life steal. Drinks blood pools for health. Undead. Immune to poison and mana burn. Damned. Cannot worship. Exhausted when fully healed. When not fully healed. Only regenerates one health per tile. Uh... And gains one life steal for every 120 conversion points. Interesting. Interesting. He'll be a very different playstyle, I think. Alright, guys. This has been a victory at last. Victory at last moment. Thanks for watching.